Should you really be scared of downloading malware from a YouTube video? Today I'm going to explain exactly why you actually shouldn't be in most cases, but also why you should definitely stay cautious. Just so you know where this is coming from, I make videos on Minecraft clients, so not only have I personally encountered rats and viruses throughout my time on this platform, but I've also seen firsthand the actions YouTube takes when it all goes down. The amount of people I get flooding my comment section saying that a whole bunch of different programs are blatant malware and viruses and whatnot is genuinely insane. I want to start off with something that may seem obvious but a lot of people don't really realize. Malware is banned on YouTube. Duh, right? But this does literally mean that if I were to upload content that contains a virus or put a link to an unsafe program in my video's description, you guys could simply report it and YouTube will take according action. This could result in the link getting removed, which I've actually had wrongfully done to multiple links on my channel before that I was luckily able to correct. But it can also actually result in your channel getting strikes or even termination. In some situations, this can give you assurance that a program is safe. Obviously, on tiny channels you want to be really cautious because what do they have to lose when their channel gets terminated right but on channels like mine that are a little larger and have a bunch of similar content like this if i was genuinely consistently uploading rats my youtube channel wouldn't exist so youtube striking links from your descriptions falls under their dangerous content policy and this is actually also the reason why on some sketchy channels they put the download link in the comment section instead you should never download something from a comment section. They do this to bypass that policy. So in many situations, you should actually be safe to download. A few boxes you can tick is wanting to look at if the client, for example, is well known. Brian is an incredibly popular client and people keep calling this out for malware and I'll just get this as an example. Except their official Discord literally has 100,000 active users. This is of course not 100% confirmation, but it can be a good sign that a program is trusted. Another green flag is programs that have a clear name and clear branding. Try and find multiple videos on the same client or file. Now I also know that many people like to use VirusTotal to check for viruses, which is fair enough, but it can very often give false flags, leading to people making incorrect conclusions. VirusTotal is really only good for finding named detections, like this malware analyst guy shows here with Luma. So the way that many smaller or hacked channels try to get you to click their links is they steal videos using bots, just like mine, and they will actually replace the download links with malware. This is a very common method, and I know it because I strike down a lot of these videos because I don't want users downloading malware with my content. Anyways, I'm obviously quite familiar with this, and so here's a few obvious red flags that if you see any of these, immediately just click away it's not worth it. First, I already mentioned comment links don't download from comments. The second, an incredibly obvious one, but the first few seconds of some tutorials is literally a guy disabling his antivirus. Like, never completely disable your antivirus. Sometimes you might want to make an exception for a specific program or file directly within your antivirus, but whatever you're doing, don't disable your antivirus completely. Uh, the Windows one, of course. If you're using something like McAfee in 2025, then just... I don't even know, man. Another big one is domain names. Check for stuff like weird shortened links or random domains that seem completely untrusted. Also, stay away from direct media fire downloads and stuff like that if you can. Always try downloading from the official source. And if a program doesn't have an official source, then that's a pretty big red flag as well. Finally, if a tutorial is trying to get you to download a file that is password protected, like click away, delete Google Chrome, now something else you want to keep your eye on are the file types of the program you're downloading. Uh, for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, for example, the file type is oftentimes a DLL file. And people try and call it out for all these different things, although DLL files can't really contain malware in the same way that traditional EXE files can. But apart from useful information like that, EXE files are generally 
more dangerous. So are bat files and the like. Obviously, a lot of the times you can't really get around exe files, but still, if you can avoid it, definitely do. So obviously, use your common sense. Don't just start calling things out for being unsafe. But if you really got this feeling that something might be, then it honestly might just be. Anyways, I hope this little video taught you a little more about how all that stuff works here on YouTube. If you've got any questions, which I would understand, please feel free to leave those down in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Anyways, you can always stick to the golden rule. If you don't feel safe downloading something, then definitely don't. That's always also what I tell people who question the safety of the programs that I share. I very often get people asking me whether things are safe or just loudly shouting their uninformed opinion. Now, it's obviously an incredibly smart idea to do your own research. Try and look it up a little. Try and check out the program a little more than just on the surface. That can give you some incredibly valuable information about how safe it is. And please, please don't go calling out things with being informed. The amount of comments I get on my channel of people saying that, just as an example, Flareo client is a virus. Like, that program is open source, like 100%. I link their GitHub in the description of every video, and yet I get so many people just saying, virus. It's same things with other clients I share you know people will be saying virus 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 then the source code gets leaked and then it's still virus 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 like buddy you can check it yourself it's very good that you're being cautious and skeptical of the files that people share but don't go around spreading misinformation anyways for right now thank you all ever so much for watching and uh stay safe up there bye, -bye.